This is Char Bliss. Welcome to my channel. And before we begin, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about myself. I am a realtor here in the Houston metropolitan area, and I have been here since 1999. I have four girls, Andrea, Aaliyah, Alyssa, and Abriano. They've all left. I'm an empty nester now, but they're always calling, Mom, can you tell me how to cook this? Mom, can you tell me how to cook that? Or Mom, can we come over and eat? So I figured to alleviate all of those issues and keeping some of my money in my pocket that I would just do tutorials and we could cook in the kitchen. Sometimes they're going to join me, sometimes not, but this will be a good way to share some recipes, to share some old time old family recipes i had a friend who you know we would go shopping and i would tell them well i need this and i need this to cook this and that and trying to cook things from scratch and they were like well charlotte do you know you can get that in the store obviously i didn't because i was raised uh actually in gary indiana my mom cooked everything from scratch she was a caterer and so I'm learning how not to use everything from scratch. However, I have a few recipes in my back pocket that my mom has taught me and some new stuff that I just want to share with you all. So I hope you stay tuned, you know, and check out what's going on here in, in the kitchen. And um, so, hey, let's get cooking, okay? And today I'm cooking one of my girl's favorite. I'm cooking chicken and shrimp Alfredo. I've already got the water on boiling with salted down. And so let's go ahead, let's get cooking. So, as I said, I already have the salt and water boiling for the Alfredo. And um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and add a little olive oil to my pan. Let me get it turned on here. So I'm gonna get that turned on. Now these are stainless steel pans, so you know, some people don't like to cook on stainless steel because they say, oh, I like the nonstick. I like, you know, to use nonstick pans, but I like stainless steel pans. You know, if you don't know how to cook on stainless steel pans, of course, it's going to stick and all these other things. So what you're supposed to do with stainless steel pans, you're supposed to get it hot, get it started. And then once it gets warm, then you can add your oil or whatever you're going to cook with. You can't just put it in a um, cool uh, stainless steel pan. So I got the fire going. We're going to let it do its thing for a little bit. Here's the olive oil. We're going to add a little olive oil to this pan. Okay. I touched it, y'all. So about two teaspoons of olive oil to the pan. I'm going to get that started. Now, as I said, you know, I came from a house where we always had to chop up everything. However, um, I've learned that you don't always have to chop up everything. It depends. If you're cooking something that is like a salad or this or that, something that's cold, you don't want mushy vegetables. But if it's something that you're sauteing, you can easily get um, frozen vegetables. Uh, so I personally like this season pack. It's not the Cajun one. It's just, um, it has onions and celery and um, red and green peppers, but it's very little because, you know, if you look at any ingredients and it starts, whatever it starts with, the first thing it starts with and the ingredients is what it has the most of. So that's what I always teach my girls. You know, don't just go buy cheese because it says cheese. You need to make sure that it says milk or you're going to have some rubber cheese. So I have this season pack and normally it's frozen. But what I did, I went on and put it in the refrigerator after I purchased it uh, yesterday because I knew I was going to use it. And I thought I was going to cook this yesterday. So normally frozen. So I go ahead and dump that in. I have a little trash on the side here that I'll drop it in. So I go ahead and I get that started. And so normally when it's frozen, it takes about 
four to five minutes to saute. So, and to get it all nice and soft, but these are softer. So you just basically stir it in. Um, I do personally, um, cause I like to add seasoning on seasoning on seasoning so that it can, it tastes better to me. So what I normally do is I add a little salt. So I'm going to add a little salt just because even though I'm, I've seasoned my chicken already and I'll show that to you. I got about, um, a pound and a half or so of chicken breast that I already seasoned. It was already um, skinless, boneless. I sliced it. I normally slice it, you know, because it's large breast. Sometimes I split them and then I slice them. And it depends on how many people I'm feeding. I may cube them. But since they were, these were very long chicken breasts, I sliced them. And I sort of cut them again on an angle so that it can give the appearance that they're a lot larger than what they are. So I'm also, I also got um, a half a pound of shrimp and I always buy the D-vein. So if you don't want to buy the D-vein, you can get them and you can D-vein them and clean them yourself. Um, if you want, I don't personally suggest or like um, shrimp that's already cooked because I feel like I'm cooking them twice and you don't want your shrimp to be rubbery so I don't normally um, buy cooked shrimp I go right to the seafood section at the HEB I'm here in Houston so most people know what HEB is or any local grocery store that um, that you prefer you know I go to HEB personally and so I basically got the shrimp. They were already deveined. I took them off the shell. And as I said, I have four girls. And so in order for everyone to get enough shrimp in their dish or on their plate, say that I have four kids, I always made sure that it gave, again, the appearance that it was more. So what I did after I deveined them, I sort of sliced them in half. Sometimes I slice them just slice them period but I slice them in half it gives the appearance of it's a whole shrimp but it's really not it's really a half a shrimp but still the same so this is cooked down now what I normally do I've already seasoned my chicken and um, and got that prepared for for you I'm going to put that in with my sauteing vegetables we'll give it another few seconds here I mean, because they're going to cook. These sauteed, these vegetables are going to cook along with the chicken. So, I'm sorry for tapping all loud. So, um, we got that going. Now, what I'm going to do is add um, my chicken broth. Okay. So here's my chicken breast, and I seasoned it with um, Tony Sachery's Cajun seasoning. And, uh, you know, I'm always going to put some Cajun on what I do, so I'm not Cajun. My husband is. However, I always add a little spice to, to my dish. So I went on ahead and had that seasoned with garlic powder and uh, onion powder. Um, and um, only thing I didn't put in here that I normally would is minced garlic and I'll go and grab that I also I also use some coarse um, coarse black pepper I don't like that regular pepper I like coarse ground uh, like restaurant pepper because it's more chunkier. The other pepper to me makes it makes my dishes turn a little black. So, so I got that going. And what I'm going to do, I, let me go and grab my minced garlic because I'm a garlic fan. And most of my girls are garlic fans. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn this down. You don't want it 
cooking on 100. So about a good teaspoon or so of garlic. And so we're gonna just go ahead and let that go. Now, I like my um, fettuccine noodles al dente. Now, you can use any type of um, fettuccine noodles. Um, so my water is already boiled and it's ready to go. You have to wait until it boils or it'll stick together. So it's boiling pretty good. I'll get my fettuccine noodles. Now, what I normally do, let's hope this doesn't splash everywhere. I take them and I break them a little bit and drop them in there. Only because my, it depends on how much water I have in there and how much pasta I'm making and things of that nature. So. But, my spinach, but I don't want my, my these to all cook evenly, so. So I got a pound of, of pasta. I'm gonna go ahead and um, turn these, get them going. And I said medium, high, I meant just on medium, no medium low. You know, you want to be sure that it's cooking. Make sure, because it is chicken, you don't want it to take too much, too much effort. Okay, sorry about that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get my sauce started. Um, let's go ahead and stir these noodles. It's pasta. Got a few more in there, mine as well, right? Mine as well. Now that's a full pound, okay? <laughs> so, so that's going. I'm gonna stir up my pasta, get that all cooked down, and it normally takes about, I'm gonna put the timer on for 11 minutes. This isn't spaghetti, so spaghetti noodles. And it doesn't matter if you want to use spaghetti noodles. Some people like angel hair, but in order to get it al dente, you have to go by whatever the package says. This package actually says 11 minutes, but I'm sorry, it says 11 to 12 minutes. So I put it on 11 minutes because um, I just like for it to be a certain tender when I bite. So got that started. I normally cook this in a much larger skillet. Actually, this skillet is what I normally cook it in, but I knew I wanted to start my sauce and I didn't want my sauce to be, I couldn't put it in this smaller saucepan. So well, we got that going. So what I do just to get it started again, a quicker way is I use any type of Alfredo sauce. So I, Pour that Alfredo sauce in there. I make sure I have this turned down low because it's cheese and it will, will stick. So I add my sauce in there. And I'm also going to use some heavy cream because I basically, this is just my start. So I basically make my own sauce, but I do add one of, one of these because I can just get it started that way. So I put that in there. Again, I season it with a little black pepper. Sorry. This is not my regular, regular um, pepper grinder. So I'll just sit that one there. And so I'll get the Alfredo started, okay? I'm still stirring my noodles. I don't want them to stick together. My meat is, my chicken is coming along very well. Come on, chicken. Come on, chicken. Okay? It's a lot of chicken. 
but I normally cook for a big family. My mom, she all, she has seven, well, seven of us, and she always cooked for large crowds, and she never learned how to cook in a small portion. I feel that since I'm an empty nester, sometimes I feel like that's the same thing that I'm doing is that I can't can't downsize my my cooking for a smaller for just like me and my husband. So. My girls already know that I'm making Alfredo, so they've already told me that they'll be here. So normally, you know, I put this in here, and the chicken will make its own water. So I'll let that cook a little bit. Now I have my Alfredo going, okay? Toss this away. Okay, so now everything is going as planned. So, not something I normally do is cook on video, but something I'm trying. At least my kids can go ahead and and stop coming over here for dinner. Not that I don't like it. I love it actually. But they'll be able to do this at home. And yes, I'm going to, girls, I'm going to make you all a recipe book. Don't worry, I will. Okay. So some of my spinach fell here. I'm going to just go ahead and toss that away. Okay, so the last thing I add, once this starts cooking uh, and gets cooked down the way I like it, then I... Um, I add the shrimp in. I add the shrimp in and I saute that as well. Now my secret sauce, my secret sauce is white wine. I use Moscato because it gives it a little sweet flavor. Who doesn't like wine, right? So um, I'm gonna add that to my chicken mixture. Okay, so the Alfredo is going. I stir it up a little bit. And um, I add butter. I thought I was prepared, you guys. Forgot my butter. So I add butter and I get that to going. Again, not too fast. Being mindful of my noodles. All right. So my noodles got about five more minutes, supposedly five more minutes. Now, it may take a little longer and it just depends. I don't want them to overcook, so I'll probably taste them before the five minutes up just to make sure. And so now I have this done. And then so I add, um, this is the Italian five cheese. I love this. It makes great Alfredo. It's five different Italian cheeses. So I add a little of that. Y'all, I'm gonna open up my cabinet, okay? Don't, don't, don't trip on my seasoning. So I'm gonna add a little Tony's. I've already seasoned my meat. But again, like I said, I like to add seasoning on seasoning on seasoning. So this is the black pepper that I like. I like to get the restaurant coarse. Because my mom said, don't put too much black pepper because people think it's dirty. So I don't, do, I don't do that. So, and then I add a little, you know, I do this to taste. I'm going to be tasting this soon. I add some garlic. And that's it. So I get that to, to cooking. Now when you add your cheese, you have to constantly come back and stir it because it ends up getting very, you know, thick. And I haven't pulled all of my, um, see that, that cheese? It's gonna be very good. We check this chicken. Okay. So now the chicken is just, 
just about perfect, okay? So, it normally takes about five minutes to cook if you don't want it to be too, um, if you don't want it to be too uh, rubbery. I know, I added in there with the chicken. The chicken's already seasoned, so I added in there with it. Okay. So now my shrimp is in there, and I'm going to let it go. I'm just going to let it go, okay? I'm going to check these noodles for this pasta. And my um, Alfredo is bubbling up. So, of course, I need to check that. I'm going to add more cheese to it. So it's really, really thickening up. more cheese. And again, I'm going to stir. You have to constantly watch this. And you turn it down because you don't want to scorch it. You really don't want to scorch this because your whole dish is messed up. So... You don't want to scorch it. I'm stirring it in. Ah. I'm checking my timer. It says about a minute 30 or a minute 35. I always, I already can look at this and tell that it's not, that it's not ready. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one anyway. Actually, that's almost, almost like I like it. So that, um, that minute and, uh, that 11 minutes worked out perfectly for me. So now I have my shrimp in there. They're basically basically about ready, right? They're basically about ready. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add wine, Moscato. Now my youngest, she's not old enough to purchase this. So I told her, don't worry about it. When you grew up a little bit, then you can get you some Moscato. So, I'm gonna say a half a cup, and then I'm gonna drink the rest, if there's any, okay? So I'll pull up, there's my timer. Pour my Moscato in there, get that to going. I'm gonna go ahead and stir these new, this pasta a little more. And I'm gonna go ahead and Take it out. I have a colander already ready for me in the sink. Okay, I'm gonna stir this up because it's, I don't want it to stick. Turn off my fire and my pasta. I'm gonna turn off my timer because it's beeping. I'm going to let this, now when you add wine, you have to let the, um, you have to let the alcohol basically cook off. And so I added just a, I normally add a little more wine than this. It could be anywhere from a half a cup to a cup of wine. I just pour it to my heart's content. And once it's there, it's there, okay? So. Looking good. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna taste it. Yep, just like I like it. I'll give the um, the seasoning, what I put in it, and also um, 
what type of seasons and also how much seasoning I use. Now, I am the type of cook. I cook like old people. And I normally say a handful of this or a handful of that. But this time for you guys, I measured it prior to so that I can make sure that I had it correctly. So I'll be able to tell you guys how how that basically had, went down. Okay. So now my pot, my Alfredo is cooking. I'm gonna add the rest of this cheese. This is about eight ounces of um, of cheese. You know. Stirring it in. So, there we go. It's looking nice and creamy. So, my chicken and my shrimp have cooked down. My uh, wine has cooked the alcohol out of the wine, so that's about that's about all she wrote right there. Taste it. Oh my gosh, there it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and this is mine. I grabbed my meat just, just for show, actually, <laughs> because it's not hot, and I knew it wasn't hot, but okay, so it's all in there. Now, what I'll do is I'll add this to my sauce, okay? So then I add this, and the wine is going to sort of, even though my sauce is kind of thickened, this wine that I've added is going to give it a little more liquid and it kind of changes the color and the season the way it the color and of uh, the alfredo it makes it a little dark because I've already added all those seasonings to it and I love it love it love it so that's added and now I don't really have to let this cook down because it's already ready. It's just about ready. So what I do, I go ahead and I have my chicken, my shrimp. I added my, all to my Alfredo that I cooked off to the side. And now I'm going to add my pasta. So now I'm adding my pasta what I do, I add the pasta from the colander that I had off to the side, ready. Okay. I turn this down because I don't want my Alfredo scorch. And my noodles are already al dente, so I really don't want those to cook any more than what they've already cooked down to. So I add that and I stir all of this in. I turn it, as some people would say, <laughs> depending on what part of the country you're from or what country you're from. So I turn it. I don't wanna, you know, turn it too much because I don't want anything broken up. So it looks really nice. Now after this, see that sauce? It looks very good. Okay. So now I have my Alfredo sauce. I have my shrimp and chicken with my sauteed vegetables and garlic, minced garlic. I added it all together. And now what I do, I like to, my spinach, I know you guys were probably wondering what that was for. I like to toss it 
with some spinach. Mine as well, right? And you, it doesn't have to be cooked because the um, Alfredo and all of that is warm. So I go ahead and I turn, turn it in into my Alfredo, okay? Girls, <laughs> y'all gonna love it. And I'm gonna love not ha having you all call me. That's another lie <laughs> to tell you all how to do it. But I just want to, I've always told my girls that I want to be able to equip you for life because that's what my mom did for me. You know, she equipped me for life, you know, not to be a housewife or anything like that, but you need to know how to cook for your man, cook for yourself, cook for your children, be an entrepreneur, whatever your heart desire. I just tell my kids like my mom told me, be the best that you can be. Whatever it is that you want to do, be the best at it. So I think I need some more spinach, y'all. I'll add some when y'all not looking because I like spinach in mine. So it looks nice. I probably would have wanted a little more um, pepper, but you always can add that to your, to your plate. So give me a moment. Give me one moment and I will go ahead and I'll put this for you. I'm not, um, no, I'm not Chef Ramsey, okay? I'm Char and I'm going to plate this for you. May not look the same. You know what I forgot? I forgot the garlic bread. Sorry, girls. But you know how to put that in the oven, cook it for eight minutes. That Texas toast, you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and plate this so that you all can see the finished product. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I got this plated. Of course, I'm no Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I would love to meet Gordon Ramsay, but I'm no Gordon Ramsay. I got my final uh, dish here laid out. Straightened up the kitchen a little bit. Fed my husband. Finished, uh, poured that uh, little wine that was left. Now it's trying, time, to, time to try it out here. Okay. I know it's going to be... The same as before. Great. It tastes good to me. Okay, you guys. Also, I don't know if you've noticed my pen. It's for a charity called the Sunshine Kids. It's for kids that are suffering with cancer. If you feel charitable, feel free to donate to them. You can donate in your name, in my kid's name, in anyone's name. You can donate anonymous. Just be charitable. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel.